Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a little bit of a different video. Over on my Instagram I asked you to send in your assumptions. Some of them are actually so funny. Like I literally I'll give you that. Like some of them are literally they made me die. They were so funny. So I did get quite a few. I was surprised on how many I got actually. But with that being said, let's get into the video. I did print screen, the ones that I'm going to be answering. So the first one is, you come from money slash are rich. Now this isn't true at all. Um, my mum is a single mum, she, she has three children and yeah, we've never struggled but we've never been rich, if that makes sense. We've never struggled, we live in a lovely house and we've always had things that I don't know, I feel really weird answering this question. <laughs> the answer is no, but we've never struggled. Um, so, so the next one is your vice president of a football team. Now girls and boys, I am very proud to announce that I am now vice captain of Huddersfield ladies football team. This is for my university team. And I'm super excited about the next league. It's going to be my final year as well so I wanted to make sure that I put myself forward and it came out everyone voted so yeah I'm super excited about that I will just leave their Instagram down below as well if you want to go and check them out I'm going to be leading most of the social media and kind of like other admin -y bits but my main focus is going to be the Instagram which I'm really excited about so yeah definitely go follow them if you don't already uh the next one is your vegan um no i'm not vegan as of yet i think i would like to try out in the future last year i tried being pescatarian um i really enjoyed it it was not it wasn't anything that kind of made me stop it was more so kind of price um of food because i did a placement year this year so i got a smaller loan so i couldn't really afford to kind of branch out and do the kind of like the more like experimental recipes if that makes sense um so no but i would like to try it in the future <laughs> you don't actually like a lot of people but you just put up with them <laughs> this this one and the next one made me laugh so much literally um the answer is no i used to i used to just put up with people just because I, for an easier life um but the people that i i really don't know how to answer this the answer is no i used to put up with quite a lot of difficult people in my life they're gone now so we don't need to worry about that <laughs> so the next one is you actually hate living with ellie No, I don't hate living with Ellie, but do I put her on blast? Would she be annoyed? Shall I ring her? I'll see if she answers. <laughs> so I'm doing my assumptions video. Do you want me to answer that question nicely or not? <laughs> Which question? Um, do you hate living with Ellie? <laughs> <laughs> yes of course i love living with ellie we have just signed another contract for next year um but it's just funny to wander up with things like that it just makes me laugh so the next one is your spiritual yes i only recently got into it the last couple of years but this year and last year i've really really got into it 
I have bought like my little crystals like I don't know if you can see but on my bedside table I've got some little crystals and then I've also got a book I'm reading at the minute as well which is called Raise Your Vibrations by Kyle Gray yeah cool uh, from Kyle Gray um, I'm really liking it at the minute I literally only just started it but um, I was thinking about doing a video on my favorite spiritual my favorite spiritual books so if that's something that you would be interested in watching then I can of course um, the only kind of way that I'd be able to do that is if I print show you a print screen of the book because the majority of the ones that I've already read are in are in Huddersfield and obviously I'm at home still um, or I could wait and show you but I mean it's literally the exact same um, but yeah I am very very spiritual and I love all of that it just makes me so happy so the next one is you love Cutter's Choice, it's your favourite brand of tobacco. Now, just a quick disclaimer here. I do not smoke. I have not smoked until, well, since October. I even want to say, yeah, beginning of October, I had one cigarette at Christmas and it literally made me want to be sick. So... I'm coming up to, well, it's not really a year. May, June, July, August, September, October. So I'm five months off being a year smoke free. So obviously I don't suggest that you go and smoke, but I'm also not going to tell you what to do. But yes, when I did used to smoke, that was my favourite brand. Not that I'm promoting it either. The next one is you're a diva in brackets with a heart of gold. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a diva. I used to be when I was younger, I'm going to be honest when i was fresh 18 and the world was just untouchable to me i did have a little bit of a few diva moments but i also agree with the heart of gold comment because i do you will never ever find someone as nice as me especially when you, when it comes to my friends i literally love all my friends with my whole heart and it shows but yeah uh no <laughs> Uh, the next one is you're a dog person. I mean, it would be a bit weird if I wasn't a dog person and my favourite best friend, little fluffy dog downstairs. Of course I'm a dog person and Frankie is the only dog that will have my whole heart because I literally love him so much. The next one is you can't sing but you think you can. Now, I have a funny story for this. <laughs> when I started my like placement year we had to do a it was like a get to know you kind of situation and it was basically like quick fire it was a bit like speed dating but obviously for like the other em like employers and other like businesses there so my fun fact was i said to the i only said it to one person i didn't say it to anyone else i said my like unique thingy my unique fact was that i cannot sing but i think i can um that is the god god honest truth i cannot sing to save my life if i could sing like christina aguilera or whitney houston or celine dion oh my god you would literally not shut me up period it's literally one of my biggest things i've ever wanted in my whole life was to be able to sing but no i can't but they also added on the end of this question that I'm a very good performer. So I may not be a triple thread, but at least I've got one. And that's a lot more than what other people can say. So that's how I defend myself. No, I can't sing, but I'm a good performer. The next one is you can cook. I, it's only really been like the last like two years I've really, really started to get into cooking. Um, when I first went to uni, when I was fresh 19, I literally ate nothing but oven food but of course my metabolism was a lot higher then and I could get away with eating oven food all the time. Now that I'm at the more mature age of 24, all I have to do is sniff an oven pizza and I've literally put on about five stone. Honestly, it's literally the most frustrating thing in my life but it's pushed me to learn how to cook. So I like to be really experimental with like spices and just like different meals like I could literally pick stuff out of the fridge and make a meal out of it. So I do, I will praise myself when it comes to cooking. I'm very good, but I'm not as very, I'm not as good as my boyfriend because he's 
amazing. But then the next question is, you're single? No, I'm not. I have been with my boyfriend. It's coming up to four years this month. So, sorry. I'm very much in love. The last question is, you are a stay out all night girl over going home early. I wish I was. I re Well, tell a lie. I don't know. I love the idea of staying out until like 4am and, you know, walking home when it's light outside. But trust me, I went, I went for a phase, and to be honest, I still do now, where I go out with friends and by like half one um, in Mackey's, ordering my food and having a taxi. Because I just, I, I, I run away. I'm one of those really horrible friends that if I go to the toilet on my own, chances of you seeing me again, it's not very high, put it that way. So, yes, I am the runaway drunk that likes to have the food before 2 a.m. But I would like to be a night, a night owl, is that the right word? Anyway, that is it. So, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. I had so much fun filming this video. It honestly was crazy. Some of them were so funny and some of them would like, it just literally made me laugh so much. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, thank you. You're all chicken legends. And I will see, well, actually, help, hold the horse. First of all, you need to like, comment and subscribe. Second of all, I'll see you next week.